Well, we know inflation is really putting a strain on your family's budget every single day, especially Metro Atlanta residents and parents who are struggling to put food on the table. And now for the first time in two years, they are paying for school lunches. Funding from federal programs has now ended, and now lunch debt is racking up across many school districts. 11 Alive's Don White is in studio with us with what's being done here to fill in this gap. Ron and Jennifer, I reached out to several nonprofit organizations that provide meals and food assistance to students. They all say demand for help is soaring. It's something no parent wants their child to experience. A lot of the kids are now having to go through the lunch line and getting to the end and realizing that they don't have funds in their account and they're, you know, having their meals taken away in front of their peers. Alessandra Ferreira Miller is the founder of All for Lunch, an Atlanta area based nonprofit paying $130,000 in December to wipe out student lunch debt in several schools. But now that we've come back and these waivers have expired, we're seeing an increase uh, 2x, 3x, 4x um, at schools throughout every county. Let's not have our families, our kids suffer with something like hunger when that's one of the basic needs that we, we as a community um, should be helping meet. Captain so. Jamal Ellis runs the Salvation Army Peach Crest Corps, which has an after school program. Grab one of these cards. It used to give kids just snacks before the federal school meal program ended. They're getting here hungrier than normal and things like that. So moving towards uh, providing full meals um, and, and a snack for kids. The nonprofit organization Food Research and Action Center is urging Congress to reinstate the program. We're always concerned about lunch shaming that would happen because of school debt, school unpaid school meal debt in the cafeteria. And that's why we think a nationwide healthy school meals for all policy is appropriate. These kids have no control over the financial circumstances of their home and their parents. And to have them go to school and be hungry. And for some of these kids living with food insecurity, this might be their only guaranteed meal of the day. Six major districts in Metro Atlanta responded to me and all of them, except for Gwinnett County Public Schools are seeing an increase in parents signing their kids up for free or reduced lunches.